I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in La Quinta, California for REITWISE 2013, REIT's Law, Accounting, and Finance Conference. Joining me is Jason Good, partner with Alston & Bird. Jason, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Here at REITWISE, you participated on a panel focused on public non-listed REITs. What would you say is the most pressing issue facing that segment of the market today? It's probably some uncertainty that the industry faces over uh, valuations of REIT shares and how those are going to show up on customer account statements. FINRA, uh, in 2012, gave the industry some guidance about how they expected and wanted to see uh, valuations of REIT shares on customer account statements, uh, but because of uh, some internal conversations at FINRA, they haven't finalized those rules and sent them to the SEC. Now, we think that that could have an impact on how programs are structured and launched in the future, and as we know from watching uh, Washington, uh, yeah, uncertainty as to regulatory, uh, the regulatory future is not always a great thing in terms of uh, uh, the capital market. So I think that as that gets resolved, hopefully in the not so distant future, that'll help the industry. And how will SEC disclosure policy of per share valuations have an impact on companies as well as shareholders? Well, the SEC has really pushed the industry to uh, provide better uh, uh, information about how they're valuing their shares. So uh, the industry has responded favorably to that and now we're seeing a lot better uh, data being presented by issuers about how they're coming up with their per share valuations. And lastly, can you touch on the Department of Labor's fiduciary definition as it relates to public non-listed REITs? Well, interestingly, there are two uh, 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 U.S. agencies that are focused on this issue both the Department of Labor and the SEC. So there's been some question as to which would sort of drop the shoe first, and we think actually that the Department of Labor will come out with their proposed rules in July of 2013. The SEC, just earlier this month on March 1st, uh, asked for uh, some additional data to be presented by the industry to them so that they could think about their own rulemaking and whether broker-dealers should be held to a higher fiduciary standard. So over the next 12 months, I think we're going to learn a, not, a lot more about the answer to that question. Jason, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.